Okay, go ahead, press the add button here, and then press A, then press the sprint. I usually sprint with R2. So I'm going to put the R2 here, and I think let us just begin playing for now. Okay, so you can go ahead. So now you can see that I am playing. And shoot. Thank you. Okay, pass. Through ball. Run. Through ball. And then shoot. Good. So what is going on everyone, when about with you here, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to play FC Mobile with a controller. So first of all, uh, this is my PS4 controller and uh, I'm going to have to maybe connect it via Bluetooth but later. But the first thing you're going to have to do is to go to your settings. And uh, what you're going to need is to scroll down and go to the about section and then you're going to have to look according to the first to what phone you're using but according to my phone i'm going to go to software information what you're looking for is the build number it's the build number my camera is not that good but i'm going to have to cast this video onto the pc so we're going to go to build number and uh, we're going to have to click like seven times it's going to ask me for the password Okay, so what we need is to activate the developer mode. Okay, so when you come down here after the about section here, you're going to go into the developer mode. If you can't see this, please just um, just follow along and do what I'm saying on your phone. Then make sure that your developer mode is activated. My camera is not good. I'm sorry for that. But then scroll down. You're going to have to to activate usb debugging okay so it's going to ask you that and then you're going to say allow okay uh for my phone that is complete but if you have any problems with whatever i'm going to do eventually after this or connecting your controller you're going to have to disable permission monitoring in some developer modes of some phones they have that option of disable permission monitoring if you have it just go ahead and activate it right here okay so let me go ahead and uh, okay i'm going to try so hard to reflect this onto the screen okay that is my phone right there i'm literally just uh casting everything so firstly you're gonna have to go to the uh you're going to have to go to the Play Store. Okay, so you're going to just type in um, Mantis. You're going to need the software here. Mantis Gamepad Pro. Here, and this is exactly what you need here. And then just go ahead and uh, download it. And in my case, I've already downloaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Okay, you're just going to follow along with whatever I'm doing. Okay, so uh, you have to first connect maybe your controller. Go ahead, connect your controller. Make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Okay, mine has connected, so you're going to it's going to detect that you have connected a you've connected a PS4 controller. If you connect an Xbox controller, it's going to tell you that you have connected an Xbox controller, but in our case, we have a PlayStation controller. Okay, so we can go ahead and maybe, if you want to calibrate it, you can go ahead and say calibrate, maybe testing. Okay, so, okay, it might not work for a reason. Uh, you have to, you have to, you, you, you when you, Check here you have wireless controller touchpad, which is just this here. But you have to change it to wireless controller. And when you start testing, you're going to realize that your buttons are being pressed well and the analog is working and everything seems to be working with this software. Okay, so we're done here. Now our next step is going to be to tap 
to start mantis body pro now we need to activate this uh, mantis body pro and uh, we're gonna have to go to a website i'm gonna have to go okay so when you tap here it is going to ask you for uh, uh, connect mantis via android if you have another android that has mantis you can do this but the easiest way is having a pc and do the activation via your computer this is going to be windows okay so what you're going to do is uh you are simply going to go here just go to your browser you're going to go into into your your browser and then just type in mantis pro okay when you search this and get this you're not going to go to the first uh don't go to the first link come here where you have mantis buddy guide or what you want to do is to just type in mantis buddy okay and then press enter okay so it's going to tell you mantis buddy guide version 3 and then you're going to go in, you're going to go to that tab there okay so you're going to have to download these two whether you're downloading uh, the one for Windows if you have Mac you're going to have to download this and you're going to be following the prompts so you're going to go ahead and download this and when you click it it's going to request you to download but it seems I've I've already downloaded mine but nevertheless let me just download it it's so small that it only downloads in seconds so I'm just going to open the folder where I've downloaded it and it happens to be just right here okay so I can go ahead and open it and then I am going to here I'm going to transfer these files onto my desktop let me put this aside here I'm going to just move this maybe to my desktop here okay so after I've extracted my extract your your, your folder here and then open it okay so come back to your phone here go into your phone you can see now I'm going to be selecting the uh, I'm gonna be selecting the Android to PC and then it's going to be rotating like this okay so what you need is to connect your phone to the computer which I've already done so go ahead connect your phone USB to the computer and then uh, just I uh, come here to gamepad pro buddy just double click okay it's going to bring that prompt okay so you can see here uh, uh, the fact that uh, it, it has been activated here okay lucky enough so this is what we have so this is what you have to get as successfully connected okay so when we go back so you have two ticks here the Mantis Pro has been activated successfully and the gamepad is connected successfully okay so you're gonna have to come here down here and then go to our game so we can we can close this and maybe bring this a little bit bigger if it is necessary even so you're going to scroll and look for the game that you want to play which is FC mobile in our case here there you go so we are going to press the plus sign here then just go back and then it has been added okay so what you're going to do is just click onto the FC mobile okay in your case it, I, I think it has already accepted it in my phone but it's going to ask you to enable floating widgets which are going to go into permissions and just accept to allow floating widgets over FC mobile and Mantis, Mantis, Mantis buddy just allow everything and then just launch the game Okay, there you go okay so you have this hovering yeah you can don't show this again and close EA Sports. It's in the game. thank you okay so that is our game let me try enlarging this to get a clear picture 
Okay, so you can see this dude hovering here, which uh, you're gonna be, you see? Right, I'm gonna be controlling this using my phone. Okay, so you have FC Mobile there that has launched. And uh, I think I'm gonna do this with my hands, not with a mouse. So you can see here, you have this thing hovering here. And uh, what you're going to do, you're gonna have to come here to clubs. We're gonna have to map these buttons. So you can see nothing is working at the moment. Nothing is really clicking, but we've connected and we know that it's going to be mapped. So note now. Okay, so we can go in here and uh, we can, what you're going to do is go to, you're going to go to team editing and then move down here to skill moves. You're going to move to skill moves and then you're going to go to the option of try here. I'm gonna go to option of try and then uh, yes, I'm gonna try, just, just try. Okay, there we're going to be able to map all these buttons. I'm not going to play any game, but for the purpose of the length of this video, Okay, so now we know that the pass button is, is already there. So you're gonna click here. And you are going to come here to the button. Oh, sorry. Okay, so let, let me just show it to you right on the screen using my mouse, but whatever I'm doing, you can use it with your fingers on your screen. So what you're going to do, uh, let me, what is happening here okay so what you're going to do is you're going to press the key button here and you bring your controller and then press a or x bring it here and let it be your pass here let it be your pass and then also bring a come here to a again and then maybe press o which is going to be the shoot button Okay, just map it there. And then you are going to still press maybe uh, A, and then for the through ball, which is triangle, place it there. And then maybe you also want to switch players. I usually use this button here. So we're going to again press this button here, then put A. L1 and then I think this is the one that switches players and what else okay so we also need a joystick okay we also need a joystick let me uh, bring my joystick here okay you have to bring it as small as you can to match the um, oh, sorry sorry about that so it's going to let me put this up here then bring it down here to match this guy here like that okay so also i think we're also missing the sprint button here the sprint button okay go ahead press the add button here and then press a then press the sprint i usually sprint with r2 so i'm going to put the r2 here and I think let us just begin playing for now. Okay, so you can go ahead. So now you can see that I am playing. And shoot. Thank you. Okay, pass. Through ball. Run. Through ball. And then shoot. Good. Good. Pass. Pass. Now, now that we know that everything works, you can shoot from afar. Shoot again. Those are the goals. Okay. So the other thing that you're going to need, where the trick is going to come in, is where you need to lob the ball, where you need to be as if you're making a swipe to make a cross or to make that upper through ball what you're going to need okay the other thing is you're going to need skill skill moves which is going to be your right you're going to be using your right analog 
and uh, just bring it as small as you can then bring it down here okay then press settings and switch off camera mode repeat switch that off and yes yeah and you're good to go because when you leave it on it's not going to do any trick look at this okay so when we move the player maybe try to make a skill move nothing will happen but when you come back here to the settings and then try to correct it and then switch off this you're going to realize that uh, you can make some skill moves here and uh, shoot thank you you see skill moves are now activated okay activated we have this skill move we have this skill move have this skill move okay we have this skill move and then we can shoot thank you okay so that has been worked upon okay so the next thing is you're going to scroll right if you want to be playing with a swipe option whereby this option is going to it's going to need you to uh activate your pro license swipe i think i paid for mine but if you haven't you, you, you just you just go and pay for it if you want to go but for now i think you're done but i've you know using this feature if you've not paid for it for it but if you pay for it i'm going to show you how it looks like okay so if i want to use the up button here okay select an up button that is going to be for example i want to do that to be maybe r1 for the upper through ball okay so bring it here and uh press it here place it here yeah as good as it can okay also another one is going to be our yes again again i want it to low as if it's going up and then bring it here okay also if you want to bring out the goalkeeper you're going to have to press this and then press the down button here and there you just have to be creative and uh i've used this burden to okay i'm gonna pull out the goalkeeper using that okay so there we go so we're gonna pass the ball so now you're gonna realize if i try to okay this so it's not that effective good 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 it worked sorry sorry about the camera okay so there there okay so good so it works but it rarely works well and shoot good so so we have it the through ball working well and let us test the uh let's go ahead and test the lobbing ball Thank you. Then we can load the ball. You see? Okay, basically, I think that is what you need as for now. So you can go ahead and uh, try and playing a match. There you go. So we've tested that the Okay, there you go. You can also give a lofted pass, and there you go. So, that is how you connect and play FC Mobile with a controller. You can either use um, a PS4 controller, or you can also connect an Xbox controller. Both will work fine. So, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.